So uh, right now, the aerial drones, you can walk into a Best Buy and purchase any any types of drones, uh, small ones to ones that are 35, you know, 45 pounds. And, and a lot more people are using them right now in our city parks. We just want to make sure that we have regulations in, in place that um, that don't uh, dissuade people from using this new technology that's exciting, but also to protect the users of our public parks, users of our beaches like Sandpoint Beach, uh, to provide them with some type of protection. Um, again, people want to enjoy the parks. They don't want to see a drone buzzing over their heads. They certainly don't want to have somebody snapping their pictures, taking photographs of their children playing soccer or baseball or in festivals uh, as well too. So we just want to make sure that we've got coverage in terms of finding that right balance where we, again, we don't dissuade people from using drones but we we do protect uh, the residents that you uh, that do utilize our parks what is the law right now right now basically if you operate uh, uh, any type of aerial um, whether it's a model airplane you need to have a permit with the city and uh, and that's pretty much uh, standard across most municipalities across Ontario uh, some municipalities like the city of London go a little bit further to basically state that again uh, they, they state uh, outright that you have to have permission from people if you want to photograph them or film them and so some of the municipalities do go a lot further uh, across North America there are municipalities that actually ban aerial drones from public parks that's not something that I think we're interested in doing but again we want to make sure that the coverage is there to protect residents that use parks on a day-to-day -day basis